Hey there everyone, GameFox here, and welcome to a little game called Ignite. I found this on Itch.io, actually just this morning, <laughs> and it looks really, really cool. It's one that I've been looking, actually it is one I have been looking at for a little while. I think the art style looks really, really neat, um, and it's supposed to be a short little adventure game, so let's go ahead and pop right in. Ooh, okay, so we're, th we're this young lad up on the right, behind underneath, and uh, what, the, what the heck is this thing? He's talking about a crystal. I'm assuming he needs a crystal. Can I interact with anything? I don't know if this would be better for me to have my capture. Oh, if this would be better for me to have my capture. Whoa, cursor on or what? Okay, so looks like there's some puzzles involved. Um, ah, okay, that's not so bad. So we just control the one until we click on another one, at which point I can, oh, oh, did we do it? Okay. <laughs> I didn't even, I didn't get a chance to see what the little thing was. Okay, so now we have it. That's it? Okay, cool. So anything you hold just goes above your head. I wonder if we're doing this to save the girl that was kind of falling in the other one. <laughs> okay, this is supposed to be a little bit more of a serious somber game. That's fine. That was interesting. Okay. What's this little buggy sprite thing? I have my own, um, what do you call it? Hey! Listen! Do I- can I do anything with her now? No, let's go ahead and head off to the right now, because I think that we found the end of the land generation on the left. Whoa! I love the way he looks! Look how cool that is! So he's also asking for a crystal. I'm- I'm gonna name you... Poof. <laughs> Your name is Poof. Can I not get past him? Oh no, now I have to interact with this one because I found the, uh... I found the thing. Okay. Oh, and I can- Oh! I got it! You can only move them in certain directions. So let's grab this. No, this one wants to- No, no, no. This- Oh! I don't know which one it's supposed to interact with. Oh! I get it! It brings the one from the opposite side to whatever direction you're hitting the arrow. That makes a lot more sense. I thought I was clicking them in particular. Goodbye, Poof! It was nice to meet you! I like your little hands! Okay, here's another one. There's a- whoa, this one's gonna be a little harder! <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, I need the corner bits. Okay, there's that. And that. Is there- do I have like a- I do. Okay, this isn't so bad when you actually- there's like- you can see lines for the corners, so that's kinda- kinda helpful. I do like puzzles. Here we go! Woo! Oh no, we're getting tired. But I do like a good puzzle. And yeah, ha, ha. Um, I actually really do, even though I complain about it constantly. Where are you going, little dude? Oh, the little orbs! My little um, can't remember their names right now. My little fairies end up going into the little stones. Am I? Basically sacrificing my- oh, I need to talk to this one. Am I basically sacrificing myself in order to save this woman? All right, let's go ahead and find... We've got that one. We can send that one over there. It's nice when you have a little bit more control over where you can put the... It does make it easier. Okay, so that one goes over there. I want to put this one... Oh! Poopy, I just messed that up. Okay. There we go. That's what I needed. I need to have those opposite each other. Oh, how do I do this? This piece just needs to go over here. Oh, okay, there we go, and then... Yay! It's all fixed. This orb's a little bit bigger. Oh my god, his leg is broken now. Like, he can't use his leg. Well, I shouldn't say broken, it's probably paralyzed. He is going through hell and back to try and figure out what's going on here. 
how do we do this one? Oh no, this one's harder. It got rid of some of our arrows. Okay. This might take a minute, but we will talk it through. We will figure it out. We will do this together. I did that wrong already. Oh no, that's fine. Um, okay, corner piece down there. And then I should just be able to... Yeah, there we go. Oh no. You know, for a game with no words... For a game with no words, it certainly has a lot to it. And you kind of get the feeling when you're walking of... Or when you're dragging yourself along... About just how much he's gone through already. Wow, that's kind of interesting. Okay, so let's head back to her. I don't think I'm going to find anything else because there were only two rooms in either direction. So maybe there's something I need to do back here now. Oh, yep. Oh. And my life force becomes the last orb. So now she's able to exist, live, ignite. You ignite the flame of another. Wow. Okay, I'm I'm surprised. You know, I, this is not at all what I was expecting. Um, it is very very short, so I want to go ahead and thank you guys for uh, for watching this short little video. This is great, and I, it was. I didn't say it earlier. It was that actually made me cry a little bit. That was actually made for a Ludum Dare Forty, just a small artistic adventure game made in three days by a team of three people for the Ludum Dare Forty. This was absolutely amazing. The art style is great. The music kind of puts you into the mood the further you get into the game and the puzzles are just a fun aspect to try and keep you involved um and the changing of the arrows to me seems to be like going through his hardships like the more damaged he becomes or the more life he puts into something um the harder it gets but that, that was my take on it. I'm sure that the uh, I'm sure the developers had something else in mind. But this was great. I may not even cut this down. <laughs> but I'll tell you guys what. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a comment. Leave a like. I'd certainly appreciate it because it lets me know how I'm doing. Don't forget to subscribe for more fun content. And other than that, you guys take luck and care. And have a wonderful day.